Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. We're gonna get right into this one because this gentleman's in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I'm fixing stuff left and right, finally fixing stuff. So uh, he has a water pump that is, it's, it's running, the motor's running, but it's not pumping any water. So sometimes the easiest, quickest thing to do is just put a new pump on there, see if it fixes it. If it fixes, awesome. If it doesn't, then you gotta figure out why it's not working then so uh it just takes a minute to change that pump i've already accessed it had to pull one little panel down three or four or five screws got good access to the water pump so let's tear into it there was a panel right here took it down like i said uh so i've already cut the wires to the pump the reason i didn't get the camera out sooner is because the, the tour bus pulled up here right beside of us and he was going to leave the engine run, I thought. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to video because it's just too noisy. But he cut the bus off. So I thought, hey, I'll get the camera out. And then I put my hands right in front of the camera so you can't see. But I'm just getting these two fittings off. And it usually helps if you turn the correct direction, I found. Not always, but it usually helps. So get those two water line fittings off. There's four screws that hold it to the wall. <laughs> I, I really have to do a follow-up video uh, on this I was super bummed that I screwed the video up so bad um, the not making excuses but the the camera the battery died at, right at a crucial moment um, then I went and put up the battery I changed the battery I come back and I the the next crucial moment I'd forgot to push the record button on the camera so so, that being said, let's break out the whiteboard, okay? So, that water pump on, on, that, uh, on that little motor home, um, the pump was running, unlike the, the water pump that I did uh, in, a, in a recent video in the past. Uh, this one was running, but it wasn't pumping any water not getting any water in the RV, okay? Um, this is how this thing works. Uh, I don't know exactly where the water tank was at in this, but anyhow, it's got a fresh water tank. It, uh, there's a line that comes from the tank over to this is a screen and right into the inlet of the pump. Pump does its magic. Uh, I think, the, I'm pretty sure these are just diaphragm pumps. Uh, and then the water comes out at about uh, roughly 45 pounds of uh, pressure into the RV. So this one was running, but it wasn't pumping water. So there's really only a couple things that can be wrong when this happens. Um, one is there's a leak somewhere in the uh, between the tank and the pump. Uh, I actually found two things loose in this system. This fitting right here at the water pump was loose, and this screen has a bowl on the bottom of it that you can spin off, clean sediment out, put it back on. It was loose. So, what if you have a leak or something loose, what it'll do is it'll suck air. Um, and when, you've, when, you're, when you're sucking air, uh, you can't pressurize water. Um, it just, it won't pick the water up. I don't know all the dynamics of that, but it just, it just won't work. <laughs> if there's, if, have you ever, have you ever tried to uh, drink a, uh, a drink through a straw that has a crack in it? Same thing. You can't, you can't suck the drink up out of the glass because you're sucking air in the leak in the straw. Exact same principle. All right, so you've got, it could be that, 
or you just got a bad water pump. Uh, like I say, these just have a, as far as I know, they just have a rubber diaphragm in them, and uh, the diaphragm gets a hole in it, and there again, it, it's essentially just causing a leak in the intake system, uh, but it just won't pump. Okay, so, it, and I, I really, I wish I could have, Bonnie's trying to help, but Bonnie's, Bonnie doesn't know what she's doing, but she's like, what, well, I can rub on that whiteboard, will that help? No, Bonnie, it really, they really don't help. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's one of two things. Either you got a leak or just a bad pump. Nine times out of ten, it's a bad pump. But the thing of it is, when you run across this situation, I'll know where I was going with that a while ago. Um, it kind of makes a distinct noise when you've just got an air leak. It's kind of a, you won't hear it sucking, but it'll, you'll hear kind of a, a gurgling noise. And it's, uh, it's kind of a, I mean, once you hear it, uh, it, it, it'll it kind of stick with you. Um, and I, I couldn't hear that, but it was a little bit noisy there too. Um, because until that tour bus turned his engine off, I, I wasn't even going to get the camera out. But, uh, but still, a little bit of road noise, a little background noise. So I couldn't hear that. So I just assumed probably bad pump. And a lot of times when you run across this situation, um, you almost have to just go ahead and put a known good pump or a new pump, which you hope is new, is good. You just go ahead and change the pump, um, see if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, then you can start chasing, you know, see if you've got a leak somewhere. It's, it's kind of hard to find sometimes if you have a, a leak in that intake system. But, but you have to change, you just about have to change the pump first and uh, see if it fixes it. In this case, it did. Uh, and we didn't have to go looking for any other problems because that fixed, that fixed everything. The pump picked up water immediately. It built up pressure, cut off. Life's good. Um, now some of you out there go, man, you're ripping people off. You're selling them a whole pump when all they need is just the head of the water pump. The motor's fine. Yeah, that's true. I'm not taking advantage of people. I'm actually saving them money. Now, I don't really know about now, but 25 years ago, these pumps sold for 55 bucks, okay? Uh, <laughs> they're way more than that now. But back in the day, they sold for $55, the whole pump, motor, everything. Just to buy the head was $60. And then you had to take the motor off, change the head. So it was $5 more expensive just to replace the bad part and reuse the good part. So I never did that. Um, I've never had one of those apart. I have no idea what's in it. Cause if the pump is bad or the motor is bad, we just change the whole thing. Does that make sense? Um, it's one of them stupid things. And I don't even know if you could get a pump head anymore because, I mean, why would anybody ever change just the head when it's more expensive than buying the whole thing? Got the old pump out. Um, got the new pump stuck back in there. Got the water lines hooked back up. I'm just going to hook the power back up real quick. Uh, I go get some WAGO connectors and uh, we'll hook up back up and see if she pumps water now. Sorry about no video. I forgot to push the start button, which from what I understand is kind of important. Now, I think this is an awesome place for WAGOs because what we're, only, we're, real, what we're really doing right now is just testing. Uh, we stuck the new pump in and we're going to see if it fixes our problem. If it does, we'll finish installing it. But if it doesn't, then we've got another issue. We'll have to go hunting that issue, and uh, then we may end up, we find the issue, we would probably stick the customer's old pump back in here if he wanted to, and uh, save him $195.
sometimes they say, do you know what? Just leave the new part. I'll keep the old one for a spare. But then sometimes they go, no, let's put my old one back in there. To me, it doesn't really matter. One way or the other. As long as we get it fixed, that's all I really care about. And this has uh, been a tough week. For me, it's uh, I have uh, I have I have been on the struggle bus all week this week, and uh, <laughs> I mean I can't even remember to turn the camera on. So I'm gonna let the customer go in and cut the water pump back on, and he's gonna open a faucet and see if we gain water. We're in business, he says. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry this wasn't a better video. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes these pumps just go bad. Uh, there's just a there's just a rubber diaphragm in those. It's a diaphragm style pump. So if something happens to the diaphragm, the diaphragm busts or something. Uh, she just don't work too good. Shoot the rest of the screws in there that hold the pump in. And put the wall back. And this thing will be done. So, we're done. You get done. Get down in that comment section. Leave me a comment, a criticism, a concern. Tell me, tell me how bad I suck at videoing, and uh, well, I'll just move on. I'm gonna move on and go get me some lunch. So, uh, y'all have a great day. All right, since <laughs> since I suck so bad at getting a video of that water pump, let me show you something here. I worked on this before the water pump guy showed up. Uh, this is a this is a living light. It is a slide-in truck camper, but it is licensed by Ford. Is that not cool? I never seen I never seen anything like that. Uh, the customer says that uh, that even the uh, seat cushions inside have the uh, Ford emblem. Yeah, I thought this was pretty neat. Pretty good size slide-in. Oh, she's what? About a maybe a 16, 18 footer. All hard sides. It has a Schwinn Tech slide. And uh, let me see if we can see a seat cushion real quick. He's he was all yeah. There they are. He was all ready to travel. So, yeah, pretty cool. And no, I'm not going to give you a full tour because, like I say, he was all loaded up, ready to travel. Uh, I tried to get his room in. The room quit. Uh, turns out he had, his battery was low, brand new lap battery, but it was low because it wasn't getting charged. He, uh, the uh, anti, I always want to call him the wrong thing, the, the reverse polarity fuses in the converter were blown. So when he put the new battery in the other day, apparently he had a bad battery, and when he put the, bat the new battery in, he must have hooked it up backwards for just a second, popped him two fuses. So this new battery was going dead. So we got that all figured out and got him going. And uh, so just a little bonus footage. So hope y'all enjoy it. You have a little food. I've seen Hellbilly RV online before. Yeah. Is that you? That's me. Yep. Yeah, you can pretty much, I think, do brain surgery on YouTube. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I, or I, 
for the RV, I YouTube everything. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I YouTube lots. <laughs> yeah, and if you weren't if you weren't gonna work out today, I was gonna buy the pump. Yeah. At another place up the street. Yeah. And then just go to the next campground and yeah. either wait till I got home or play with it. <laughs> there you go.